uh, of course, uh, of huge, huge importance to that game last night for San Diego State was uh, Billy White, senior forward Billy White. I mean, 30 points, Steve Fisher said, maybe the best game we've seen him play. This segment brought to you by Miller Coors, and on the Corky's hotline right now is Billy White on Double X 1090. Billy, great to speak with you. Congratulations. This is Darren Smith. Thank you very much for a few minutes, and, and congrats on the win last night. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, your coach has said this is the best game he's seen you play. I, I don't know how you measure that sort of stuff, but, but is he right? Uh, I think so. You know, uh, he told me before the game he wanted me to uh, take more shots and step up a little bit more, and that's what I had to do to get my team to win. And, and I, it's just so good, you know, just to go all the way down there in that hostile environment and, you know, just me and my team and our staff just to bond together and get a good victory. Well, how hostile was that environment? You know, we all watch a ton of college basketball. It, it looked like when I'm watching the game last night, I'm saying, you know, it looks like a lot of fun to be there. You know, it looks like one of those environments. What's the environment like to play in it, a place where they don't lose at all? Man, it was crazy. You know, the student section was there an hour before the game. You know, it was just, just you know, just harassing us, you know, just having fun. And, and, you know, I think that was just a great experience for all of us. You know, it was just fun to play get, play all the way out there. And, you know, the crowd is just was just all the way into it the whole game. And, you know, that's, I think that's what got them back into the game at the end. And, you know, fortunately we just got the win and, you know, just stay focused. And just bonded together, like I said, and you know, got a great victory. So, how was their crowd? What do they call the kennel crowd? How, how were they on you guys before the game when you guys are going through shoot around? Similar to what we see out at your place. Uh, it was kind of similar, you know. Uh, our crowd, uh, our our crowd, you know, comes a little bit uh, into the game, but you know, their crowd was just an hour there before the game, just going crazy, just making noises. You know, they have their little chance, you know, and it was just fun, you know, just to be around that environment. Did they get on you at all? I mean, personally, is there stuff like uh, that happening now? Nothing like that. Okay, all right, fair enough. Billy White here on Double X 1090. Aztecs last night, 79-76. Now, a lot of people want to say, you know, this is the greatest win ever and all that sort of stuff, and it's easy to say that. I don't know how you measure it, so I'll just ask you this question. You've been a part of this program now four years. How, how big of a win is this for you guys? It's a huge win. You know, just, just to come down there against Gonzaga, a team that lost, had only lost four times in that gym, and we're only the third person to beat them in that gym. I think it's just an amazing win for us. You know, I think there's more to come. We're not going to stop right now. Um, it's just early in the season. You know, a lot more games to go go through, and it just sets the tone for our season right now. Well, and also, I mean, doing it against that opponent is obviously a huge deal because everybody knows what Gonzaga represents. You know, they do have a little media darling to them. Doing it on a national television, on an outlet like ESPN, too, though, I would think that that plays a factor. Getting a chance, you know, not on the mountain, no no offense, but on ESPN, that, that's got to be a pretty big deal for you guys as well. Yes, I mean, uh I think we didn't even worry about that. We just wanted to go in there and play our game, and we knew that if we played our game, everybody, our game would speak for ourselves, and everybody would just watch it and just see how San Diego State can play some good basketball. No question about it. Right, we're talking to Billy White here on Double X 1090. You know, the other thing you notice, and it's only two games, is you take a guy like Malcolm Thomas, you know, who, who's big one week, the next week, you know, or next game, uh, didn't score. You, six points last game, then all of a sudden last night you dump in 30. You guys have a lot of weapons. I mean, how do, everybody seems to have a role here. I mean, talk a little bit about how much depth you guys have as a team. It could be anybody's night on any given game. Yeah, like I told everybody, you know, this is a team that you're going to see different scores every night. Anybody can go off at any time. Um, we just added James Rahan. You know, he comes in off the bench and, you know, sets the tone for us. Uh, comes in, hits big threes, you know, and guards very well. Then you got Kawhi Leonard that goes. You know, that plays hard every night, and DJ Gay and Chase Tapley, and we had a big, you know, just somebody, two people came off the bench last night, you know, and gave us a good spark. Brian Carwell, you know, getting offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds, they're hanging in there with us. And, you know, fortunately, Mark and Tom's got in the foul trouble early, so, you know, Coach came up to us at halftime, I was like, you know what, you've got to step it up a little bit. Um, uh, a lot of calls are not going that way, but that's okay. You know, you just got to stick with it. Well, talk, and also second half here. I mean, they come out. You guys had to know a run was coming from Gonzaga in the second half, right? Yeah. I mean, Coach said, you know, the Coach tells us every game before, you know, it's going to be some runs. It's just how you 
respond to the runs. You know, I think we did good. You know, they came out uh, uh, pretty hard on us, and, you know, they got a, got a run going. But, you know, uh, we came to band together and stopped their run and got on a run ourselves. I mean, 10 point leads don't mean an awful lot on the road against that club. Um, you know, so, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, it, uh, we got off to a good start, we got to a 10 point lead, you know, and they came back. Uh, but, you know, we hung in there. It was just a good battle from both teams. Do you think you guys win that game last year? I mean, there's no way to tell, but but talk about maturity, improving year in, year out. I said, man, I wonder if San Diego State wins that game last year, uh, and that could be the difference between you guys last year to this year. Um, yeah, I think, you know, last year in the beginning of the year, we came off to a rocky start. Uh, after we found out, you know, what, uh, what each, each person can do and what their roles are, I think we band together and got a good job last year. And, uh, you know, we made a good run, won the Mountain West Tournament, got to the NCAA Tournament, and lost to uh, Tennessee. And I think that was our mindset this year, you know, that we we want to get back to where we were last year, but we want to go farther. You know, we're not satisfied with exactly what we did last year. We want more than that. And I think that's what everybody got everybody hyped and, you know, just started to work out in, in the off season and over the summer, you know, and getting their games right for this season. And I think that we came into the season prepared, you know, Last year at this time, uh, we were just at a rocky start. This year, I think that we made a huge improvement of uh, of playing basketball and, and just staying together. Well, and last night I thought, you know, everybody's talked about what you guys did in the off season when it comes to free throws. But last night, I mean, the difference in the game, I think you'd agree, is is rebounding. I mean, you guys, yeah. you guys murdered them on the rebounds. Yeah, and coach told us, you know, uh, this team can rebound, this team can push the ball, and we knew if we can, you know. Uh, keep them off the rebounds and you know try to get every rebound that we can we can have a great chance of winning the ball game right, 18 offensive rebounds on the road against that team that that is noteworthy you, you know i mean and it keeps possessions alive and gives you yeah. guys those kind of second opportunity and third opportunity chances yeah and we knew that you know their offensive uh defensive team and they they like to the rebound and you know uh and once they get the rebound they get going so we we knew our game plan was just to keep them off the rebounds and you know try to get every rebound that we can and that's what we did to get the victory how about free throws is it is it still is it still some a still a work in progress for you guys um yes yeah, so, you know we work on free throws every day coach is a huge free throw guy and makes us shoot 23 25 free throws a day in practice and uh you know, uh, hopefully, uh, DJ Gay and, and Kawhi Leonard and I got some big huge free throws at the end to get us the victory, and, you know, we're going to keep working on those. No question about it. Well, what a win there last night. When you look at this program at San Diego State, you guys are at a stage right now. A lot of people are talking about you. There's a lot of expectations for you. In, in a way, I, I think every smaller program, you know, a non-BCS program, looks up to Gonzaga and says, why can't we be them? Any reason why San Diego State cannot be Gonzaga? Um, I think we can. You know, uh, uh, we just showed that we can play with anybody in the country. Um, you know, we're not scared to play anybody. We're going to play San Diego State basketball, and, you know, fortunately, we're out there to win. And then, you know, we step on the court with anybody. We, you know, we're just out there to play, and, and we're going to play our hearts out every night.